Hello everybody, welcome back Zoo Family. So today is gonna be about my hermit crabs. That's mostly what I'm about. Mm, there they are. That one just came up from molting. Actually, I was trying to do a video of cleaning out their tank, but he was molting. So I decided just to clean around him because I couldn't wait. He was taking so long. But yeah, he came up. So we're gonna be getting a bigger tank once we get more money, cause that's big, but like they don't have us really space and stuff. But um, basically today what we're doing is I'm gonna show you guys like how I clean their shells. So here's their shells. Um, they get very much sand in them. Oh my God. Why is it not coming? It always comes out. Uh, I think it's because they just got water in it. Okay, well, it's okay. We're cleaning it anyways. So there's the ship. That one. Last but not least. That one. So the two smaller ones. Those two. Actually, you're supposed to have a circle, not a line, but there's... Oh, I had to get that. So those two are for my smaller hermit crab shell. This is the one on the left, next to the two dishes. Then the other one is... This big shell is for the other one because... Realize hermit crabs are supposed to be able to tuck into their shell. And look, he's hanging out. That's as far in as he can go. He's supposed to be able to feel safe and, like, be able to actually, you know... But he can't, his shell is too tiny, so I have that big one for him. I couldn't find any other big ones, so sorry honey, you only have one choice. So I'm actually going swimming at my neighbor's house at 7 o'clock right now. It's 6.30, better hurry up. I'm not even going to edit. I'll probably edit my video tomorrow morning. So what you got to do first is grab a bowl. This bowl. I got it ready already. <laughs> kind of cleaned it out with water and stuff. Um, so you want to get hot water. Make sure it's very hot. <laughs> Ow! I need. I cut my knee. I just cut it in the on the cabinet. So right now it's warm. Not warm enough, though. So. Probably like to let smoke come in. Here. Not yet, baby, not yet, baby, not yet. Oh my god, my knee. Torn knee. Ooh, ow, ow. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Maybe a little hotter. That's good enough. That's way too hot, actually. Whatever. So, um, as you can see, boiling hot is what you need. So, fill it up. Almost to the top. Put your shells in it. Some people like to boil water. I don't do that. I just fill it up steaming hot water. She's don't don't cry. I'm making a YouTube video. Hi everybody. Mom, you realize millions of people can watch this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So you're gonna wait about one minute. Two minutes actually, so ow, it's touched. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. It was about a minute or so. A minute and a half. I was just playing with my hermit crab a little bit while I was waiting. And I was like, wait, it's time. So now you want to dump out the water. I'm getting some on the kitchen table. So, keep dumping. Um, I've dropped one of the shells before, but like, sure not. And I know the shell is horrible. So hot. Get a wet medicine. I know the shell is horrible because like it's tall, but again, as I said earlier, there was no more. So I had to, you know. Feel bad because this is the last paper towel we have. Put it right there for my mom. So you take 
one paper towel. Put that in there. So you want to take the paper towel, and like try to get the um, other sand out that's in there, because it shows there's a lot. Um, so, uh, what you might want to do is fill the thing up with water. Wow. Oh yeah, that got it all out. And then you want to rip this into three. One, one big one, two medium ones. So put the medium ones in the small shells. Make sure it's sticking out so you can pull it out. I wonder what shell Shelby will go to. I hope that the bigger hermit crab doesn't go into the small shells. He probably knows enough not to, but I mean. I'm gonna wait a little bit. These two are, I just noticed that. These two are the same exact shell. With one's big and one's small. So we're basically doing this whole thing to get all the germs out of the shells. So, you know, your hermit crabs don't die. And also, maybe, like, some people, when they're making shells, they're not always going to be super careful. So, basically, just, you know, they're probably going to have toxic things in them. Which is not what we want, people. My mom has one of these. It's I'm supposed to use it to clean out a straw, but I sort of kind of need it. Maybe she might help another one. My God. I'll just use this, whatever it is. Get out, get out, get out. It doesn't work. Loser. So now I'm gonna take all the tissue out. Fill them all up with water. It doesn't matter, hot or cold water. Whatever your sink is used to. Place it in the sink because it will most likely really fall. So I'm just placing it in a bucket because why not? The bucket that I use, but you want to fill the inside of the shells up with water. And then let that sit for a little bit. I guess I'm going to talk to you first. So, if you have a hermit crab in like a tiny shell, get a medium shell. If you have them in a large shell, get an extra large shell. If you have them in a small shell, you know, get a medium shell. If you have them in a medium shell, get a large shell, you know. Size up from what they are because you want your hermit crabs to have a nice new home. Um, these are a size up. They're not a full size up. They're probably a half a size up. This one though. My small hermit crab. is in a small shell. This is a medium shell. I mean, no, this is a large shell. This is a small shell. That's the difference. Small, small, large. Medium is probably, you know, in the middle of those two. So, this one, obviously, for Shelly. This one for Shelby. So, let's go. So, give a new home. But first, you might want to dry them off because sand sticks to wet things. That's what I hate about the beach. I get out of the water and I'm like, get off my sand. I'm a comedian and serious at the same time. I hate myself. 
Oh, it's 6.40. It's almost time to go to my neighbor's poo. <laughs> oh. So he was just on that blue thing filled with water, sandy water, and he fell back. And there's that one. So that one right there is going to be going into this shell. That one right there is going to be going into this shell. So let me place them wherever they should be, I think. So, um, I think these two, one right there, one right there, this one, maybe, you know, I don't really know. Okay, I guess actually that one should go there. There they are. So see, I honestly hope that this one is all sandy. Goes into that shell because that's the one that already looks like him. And then this one. If this one doesn't go in a big shell, I'm gonna be mad. It's not like they're gonna really change it, but see, he's halfway hanging out. Hope he goes into that shell. See, this is a small shell that he's in. This is a big shell, large, that I want him to go into. So those are my two hermit crabs. Um, something I've been doing, which I didn't do today yet. Well, actually I did in the morning, but you need to do it for today. So I have a bucket full of water. What you want to do is probably take the lid off for this. Please don't fall down the crack. And it fell down the god darn crack. So, what the freak is on? Oh my god. It's 7 o'clock at night almost. And my fan from this morning is still on. My noise maker. I use noise maker for sure. So I want to fill it. Put your hand up with it. And kind of dab the sides to get the tank moist. It's great for that. Do all the sides. You need to get all of them. Your hermit crabs don't don't like this noise, most likely. I mean, that's my hermit crabs don't like this noise. I don't think any hermit crabs really like noise. So do it quickly, quick as you could. I'm doing it for a video, so oh, sorry, crabs. You might be taking in a while. Then you take this, which is actually empty almost for me, and put it on there, and then let them come out. It's just to moist this thing up. So, of course, I'm not saying you have to do it. Just what works for me. And it has been working. I actually just got my hermit crabs about three weeks ago. And these techniques are keeping them alive so far. So, that's all that really matters. It's horrible for them. They live on a beach. I don't think water is horrible for them. I use dechlorified water though. So um, at the end of my videos, well I usually say this in the beginning of my videos, but in no way, shape, or form, like I'm not encouraging you to get a hermit crab. If you want one, great, but I do not support the um, hermit crab industry. So if you're kind of on the edge about them, about getting one, probably not. It's not the type of pet that you take out every day to play with, if that's what you're looking for. They're not for you. Um, sorry, you can't see my face. I'm trying to do something. Um, they're not a great pet for, like, if you are if you want a pet to be playing with. That's not what they're used for. Something happened, but I'm back. So, um, what I was saying, hermit crabs are the type of pet that you just want to look at. Kind of like fish. Like, yeah, maybe you could take them out once a week and play with them. But not for long. Like, yeah, you could play with them, but that's not what these hermit crabs are for. So, um, yeah, bye. Bazu family, like, subscribe. If you want to know how the hermit crab industry works, watch a video called where hermit crabs come from. Yeah, bye.